Hey guys, Jess here from TrueDry.com. If you've read my first triathlon story, you know that I got a flat tire while out on a training ride. It was a horrible experience and I had no idea what to do. I brought my bike to the bike shop and the guy even made fun of me. Well, I want to prevent that from happening for you and I want to show you that changing your own bike tire is so easy, even a girl can do it. Getting a flat tire during the race is a pretty common fear among triathletes. So I want to prove to you it's really not that bad. Even if you don't get a flat tire during your training, it's a good idea to practice fixing one so that you know what you're doing if you happen to get one in the race. Having this knowledge is also important because if you get a flat tire while out on a long ride, you could potentially get stranded way out in the countryside somewhere if you don't know how to fix it. And if I, I figure if I can do it, you can do it too. The first thing you want to do is take off the wheel that's flat by flipping your bike upside down and loosening the quick release. Even a girl can do this. Just got to use some muscle. You'll also need some tools to make your life way easier here. I have these tools in my little bike bag. And you should probably get them out before you change your tire. What you'll need is a little tire lever, sometimes called a spoon. And these are cool because they're built into my multi-tool. So what you'll do is you'll wedge one underneath the side of the tire so that the wheel comes out of the rim. Try to pry the rubber out. It's really helpful to have two here. Be forceful because the rubber is very stiff and it's not easy to stretch over the rim and it takes some muscle. Once you get the edge over, it will be much easier to remove the rest. Go. Oops. Grab your new tube and just put a little bit of air in it with your pump. Inflate it only enough to give it a little shape, but still remain soft and flexible. For right now, I'm going to show you how to inflate the tube with an air pump but you're, you might not have a full air pump during the race. So you can use a little CO2 cartridge, which we'll show you how to use later. Starting with the stem or the air nozzle, put it through the hole in the rim, push the new nozzle into the tire and continue going around. At first this is easy, but once you're left with just a little bit of tire, it can be difficult to stretch the last section back over the rim. Make sure that the tube is seated properly in the tire and pull the edge over the rim. You can use your tire lever here, but caution is to not pinch the new tube or cut a hole in it, which would give you another flat tire. Again, be forceful if you have to stretch the tire. I find that even pressure is better than yanking. Before you inflate your new tire, give it a quick check to make sure that the tube is all the way in the tire and that the tire is all the way inside the rim. If it's not, then you're going to pop the tire when you inflate it and then you'll really be stuck. You'll find the recommended tire pressure on the side of the tire and put it on back on your bike before you pump it up because that makes it easier so that you're not holding a few things.
Turn up the lever in place with the fork and hold the lever about halfway closed. Once it is back up, turn the nut to just finger tight and press the lever back down. This needs to stay good and tight because you don't want your wheel falling off. Double check that everything is tight and good to go. After you're done with that, pick your bike back up. Don't kill yourself. And now you're ready to go. I would recommend practicing fixing a flat at least once in your life just so that you have the confidence that you've done it before and you can do it again. It may sound goofy to take apart a perfectly good tire, but you'll be glad that you're familiar with how to do the process if it happens for real. Just be prepared. Your hands will get dirty too. That's cool. See, that wasn't so bad. Even a girl can do it. If I can change my tire, so can you. So the next time you are riding and possibly get a flat tire, or in your next race if you get a flat tire, you'll know just what to do. For more tips and tricks on biking, swimming, and running, and for all your triathlon needs, check out 2try.com.